Hello, kia ora. I'm Philip Duncan, and thanks for joining us for our Friday weather update, recorded on August the 25th. And as we head into the final weekend of winter, at least on the meteorological calendar, New Zealand does have a cold front. Although the technical term for it. It's pretty wussy. So let's take a look and see what's going on. A big storm down here in the Southern Ocean, right next to Antarctica. That is actually the reason why we are getting this cold front, though. It starts off in Tasmania today for the end of the working week. You get that. Weak cold front coming through, so showers and maybe a very light dusting of snow on the tops of the mountains. For New Zealand, it arrives over the weekend, moves up the country on Sunday and Monday. And it is fairly weak, but there will be a little bit of rain and snow with it. So let's take a look at that. So as far as rain is concerned, for the next two days, very bottom of the scale. When you see the blue next to the green and yellow, not much. So a few showers coming through. Most of that is down around Fiordland, where you've got about 15 to 20、uh, millimeters in the very corner there, where absolutely no one lives. But potentially five to 10、uh, millimeters spreading across a number of places. As far as snow is concerned, not a lot, but some for the mountains and ranges. Uh, mostly in that five to ten centimetre mark for the South Island and in the North Island, just a light dusting. Although it may affect the Desert Road just briefly for a time、uh, as we go through the next couple of days. And over in Australia, not much in the way of wet weather. Just a little bit around Cairns to the north, and a few showers between Sydney and Tasmania as that easterly wind kicks in. Otherwise, it is pretty dry. So let's have a look at that、uh, setup on Saturday. This is the main feature, the high pressure zone. It's not the storm down in the Southern Ocean, which has just about disappeared off the map. So the high pressure zone right here is the main guiding force. It's driving in the west to southwest flow. And by the way, notice we've now got animated wind arrows. Please let us know what you think of them. Are they helpful or are they distracting? Let us know in the YouTube comments, please.、Uh, but we've got this cooler change coming into the south on Saturday. Rain and showers to begin with. And then a few snow flurries later on in the mountains. Dry for most other places. Now by Sunday, that cold front moves up New Zealand, so you'll get that cold change moving into the lower North Island and on the western side. You'll see those showers coming through. West to southwesterly winds for the north, although a bit more southerly here in Wellington as usual. And over in Australia, the winds coming around the top of that high, so more of an easterly flow for you. That's why we're seeing those showers between Sydney and the coastal side of Victoria. In the east, so by Monday, those eastern showers they spread from Brisbane all the way down to about Tasmania. They are very much coastal. Once you're inland, it's mainly dry. Maybe a couple of isolated showers as you can see inland. But New Zealand really has got more weather going on, if you like, on Monday. We've got the southerly coming through, so you'll feel that all along the eastern side of the North Island. Cold air right across the country. The blue line means. That this cold change is taking a bit of a bite out of the atmosphere. So while it is technically a little bit wussy, it's still got enough to sort of go all the way up to the top of the country.、Um, we see, or I see, cold changes in New Zealand a lot like how a wave crashes on a beach and it goes up the sand and then back down again. That's how I see a cold change in New Zealand. It goes up the country. That blue line indicates how far north it gets. And then it drops back southwards again. So that's usually why you'll hear me talking about Waikato and Auckland during cold blasts. It's not because I think that they, are, that they are more newsworthy. It's just simply the fact that it indicates how far north that wave of cold air has gone. And so on Monday it does go to Auckland and Coromandel Peninsula, which means if you're in the South Island, you're properly in that cold air as we go through Monday. So Tuesday next week, high pressure is in control. It means more. Easterlies and wet weather for the eastern coastal side of Aussie, and for New Zealand, most of the showers will be on the western side with those southwesters. But the high is coming in, so by Wednesday, yes, still a few isolated showers. We get that at this time of the year. Same high in November, December would be dry, but this time of the year, still get a few little showers coming in、uh, off the Tasman. And by the end, or coming to the end of next week, similar setup. Uh, there'll be foggy patches around Waikato, most likely, and then we've got a few showers back in the South Island. Warmer as well for the last day of winter and the first day of spring, being on Friday. On the meteorological calendar, before you write me your、uh, complaints that the astronomical date is the correct one, that's not for another month away, really. 
Now before I go, just a programming note for next week. With this quieter weather, we won't be having a video every day next week. We are actually uh, traveling next week and we've got some good news. We'll be able to tell you a bit later in the year, but we are working very closely with Matt Service on some new ideas for 2024. Uh, with our new alerting app, which is coming out hopefully in the next few months. Now, uh, the programming note for next week is no video on Tuesday or Thursday, but we will have videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And in fact, on Friday, we've got two because we'll have our climate watch update as we take a look at September. And what is going on with El Nino? Is it sort of any closer or are we still in this sort of neutral zone that feels a bit like El Nino, but not quite officially there? So we'll cover all of that for you next week. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday.